Hey guys, welcome back to Adam C. So today I'll be talking about how you can actually find an internship while you are in college itself. And it doesn't really matter if you are in your first year or if you are in your final year because the process is actually same for all the people. So without wasting time, let's dive straight into the topic. So the first step is to build at least two good projects. So while making projects, it doesn't really matter about the tech stack. I mean, it is easier to get internships for web and app development for beginner coders, but there are other uh, fields like blockchain, data science, ML, everything is there. But as I was saying, it is easier as a beginner to get an internship in web and app development because the opportunities are kind of more when compared to other fields. So while you're building a project, instead of making a Netflix clone or an Amazon data copy, try to build something innovative or something which people actually want to use, right? For example, uh, suppose you make an Instagram clone and you put the Instagram um, APK, I mean the one you made in a college WhatsApp group and ask people to download or try it out. The chances are maximum 3-4 people will be downloading the app, right? What is the reason? It is because there is already an Instagram and people don't really want to see the same thing over and over again. So, while you are building a project, think of the project like a product. Will people actually want to use this project if I uh, release it in the market or is this the right time to uh, uh, I mean, release this app? So, do a little bit of market study and see if this project is actually worthy of building, right? So uh, in my sec second year, I uh, was really uh, behind in my attendance. So I actually made an attendance application to track my attendance daily. And it actually got like 600 plus users in two days. So the thing is that, as I was saying, but while you're building a project, think of it as a product, something that people actually want to use that solves a problem. Instead of actually making something which already exists and people don't really want to use. So after you're done with at least two projects, start building a resume. So there are lots of platforms for making a resume, like Google Docs, Word is there, everything is there. My personal favorite is actually using LaTeX. So there is a website called Overleaf, where we'll be getting uh, templates from Google employees, uh, Amazon base, all these, the, all these templates are there. You just have to edit that resume and uh, add your details, that's it. So while you're building your resume, the first one of the sections should be the projects, right? So first mention your project name and add three, four pointers or two, three points about your project. Like what all are the features, what all are your contribution. Also, if the project is actually released in the market, you can uh, write something like uh, the uh, 300 plus users use, people use the app or uh, something like analysis. So analysis numbers are actually more relevant in the resume than just uh, writing the features. Also, next section is uh, experience. So suppose uh, you already have an internship in your hand, then you can write your experience. Uh, that's it. Also, when you're writing an experience, make sure to add pointers, right? Like suppose I worked, I worked in a company as a full stack engineer, I can write what all responsibilities I had. Like uh, I made led a team of three people and did uh, so and so. Also, if this is your first internship, then you can actually, one thing you can do is instead of leaving the position blank, you can actually join communities in your college or take up uh, position or responsibilities like uh, operations, operations team, design team. Just, uh, it is better than leaving it blank. It doesn't really matter uh, if you are writing communities, but still, it's way better than leaving it blank. So, take up positions of responsibilities in, in your college societies and stuff. And then um, add the positions, write pointers, what all were your responsibilities, what all, how did, you, how did you actually contribute to the position. Just write it all down under the experience section. After you're done with RSCMA, now is the time to start applying for internships. So uh, the thing about uh, applying for internships is that you, uh, in the starting time, if you apply for at least 100 companies, at then only you'll be getting shortlisted from at least five or six companies. So uh, after I like I used to apply for hundreds of companies in when I was in my second years because I wanted an internship. So uh, don't get disheartened. Like uh, apply as much as you can because there's tons of websites for apply. My favorite one is actually Quet.tech, C U B T T dot tech. Then there is Angel.co. Then we have LinkedIn for applying. Not a huge fan of applying by LinkedIn. Uh, half of them are scam actually. Then we have Twitter. So uh, one thing I use is I just randomly go to Twitter and search. Uh, maybe I want to turn internship for Flutter, right? So I just search Flutter internships on Twitter and uh, filter it according to the latest tweets first. 
and then I can see different co-founders and uh, CTOs uh, tweeting like I want a Flutter developer and done. Um, this this is the stipend I'll be offering all this stuff. So just DM these people. I mean, there is nothing to lose if you are DM a person. No one is gonna know or anything. So just DM them. Have a common template. Just DM the same thing to uh, all of them. Um, like, um, hey, my name is Adam. I am a third year student. Uh, these are my skills. I would love to apply to be uh, for this particular position in a company and maybe uh, link your resume or your projects, make a portfolio, send it to them and uh, they'll be able to see your projects as well. So this is how you should apply. Also, you can call email people um, or you can DM, DM the HR managers on LinkedIn. So these are things which can actually help. As I was saying, you'll have to apply for at least 100 companies for um, getting shortlisted in the since it is your first internship. After that, it is kind of easier if you already have an internship in your experience section. So yeah, so I'll, um, just make sure that you're not getting disheartened after getting rejected by all these companies. I actually have tons of rejection mails in my inbox as well. So yeah, and also there's tons of communities where they actually post internship opportunities. Like there is one by Tinger Hub is called Hire Hack. So uh, Hire Hack they actually uh, post internships by various companies which are Kerala based itself. So just like that, there's tons of Telegram groups, Discord servers. YouTube channels like Arsh Goyal, he actually posts tons of opportunities um, and scholarship videos like every once in a while. So just check out all these stuff. You'll be getting a lot of opportunities. Just make sure to have a good resume and uh, also make sure you improve your communication skills because there'll be an interview, of course. So yeah. And yeah, that's it. If you have any doubts, uh, do mention it in the comment section or you can contact me on any of my socials. Yeah, that's it. Bye. Kyonne kyonne hiya sumila, bolle hono bolle maya khani la, mita mita lagamo.